Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Um, before I go into <clears throat> which chapter, I want to let everybody know I'm going to do an extra video on just bringing it up, not talking about it, just bringing this up. I'm going to do an extra video on Darker Than Black. Gemini of the Meteor concerning him. This could be a review and a topic video on hay. You'll see. You'll see. Alright, let's get into the Bleach chapter. Um, it's 472. Kind of hard to decide what the title is. I couldn't understand it when I first saw it. I believe it says Razor Edge Requiem. Alright. Basically, I'm reading it through my iPod. I think I just do it that way. Basically, you know, what's going on? Where on earth did she disappear to? Um. And it says, on the side, sad ties bound by loneliness. Ruka disappears, revealing the truth and. Go on to the next page. It's actually two pages just for Ruruk. Oh, my bad. It's two pages based on what I've seen with Ruruka and Rukia. And it says, Alone she falls. And alone she falls. And it says, Razor Edge Requiem. For them are there. And basically, we go into Tsukishima and Bayakuya. And. You know, they're fighting, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, Tsukishima's telling him, you know, your sword snapped. Oh, you know, so on and so forth. And, uh, out to be useless. To think that these seven months of training would turn out to be blue. And, you know, he's talking his little monologue, and then... Bayakuya's got a piece of his sword, because his sword broke, and gotten better, what's wrong, can't use Shikai if it's broken, and it just goes on there, and Bayakuya just takes the broken sword, throws it on the ground, and he says, Bonkai, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't know, you know, I wasn't really up for the Bleach chapter this week, to be honest with you. But this actually turned out pretty well. And then it says, and then it says, Zenban Zaka, Kaga Yoshi, and he's going to fight him. He's fighting him, and he says, oh, I've seen it so many times, even your bald guy's boring. Like, what the fuck, man? Jump off it. And then you see it happen, and what ends up happening is, as long as I get inside the zero damage zone, Shikai or Bankai, your blade is powerless. And then what happens is, he, um, you know, he uses the blades inside the zone by Alkia. This, of course, causes a huge explosion and a weakness that you've dis discovered my du which means that I know exactly where you're going to be, he says, so on and so forth. If I let my blade into the... I can easily kill you. And he says, oh, a pathetic tactic then. Don't make me laugh. You think something like that can hurt me? Blah, blah, blah. And he says, some bones are it becomes twice as fast when you control. It feels faster. Just experiencing it? No. You have gotten faster through your training. And then, Bayaku gets hit. Faster you control Blade, the more that bringing them becomes utter suicide. It becomes utter suicide. Because he's running in his own zone, and he can't really control it that way. And it's just a big explosion. I read it for Mr. Tax. You understand now? No matter what you do, you can't win against me. And he says, try using your keto if you can. And that's when it happens. 
Fayaku just, it's like, pow! <laughs> you know, it's like, poo! Let me just, you know, I'm going to probably put this on my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, this is probably going to go up. I'm going to take down the Guilty Crown uh, picture I have up there, and I'm going to put this right there. Just look at this. Just look at it. Look at that. Isn't that boss? And look at Tsukishima's face. He's like, oh, blah, you know? You know, that was just, and he just piles through. He basically, what he did was, he used the petals of Zumban Zakura around, put it around his arm, and he just piled through him. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty boss, pretty boss. And then he says, you know, you grab, grab bed some of your petals then to think you you do fight like this, we prepare for rage at peak condition. So I thought. However, today for the first time, I've experienced the joy of standing knee deep in the fleeing moments of insanely during battle. Thank you. I have enjoyed this battle. <laughs> oh man. His strength unrivaled, and that's what it says. And that's the end of the chapter. Okay. I want to let everyone know, I see one con. The beginning. That's right. That's right. In, in, surprisingly enough, Bonkai 922 is giving this chapter a 4 out of 5. Now, I know how I'm doing, the way I'm doing my Bleach reviews are is as simple. I'm saying pros. I know what the pros were. Pros were simple fact by Aoki and Tsukishima's fight. Not only is it the fight itself, but another pro of it was the way Bayakuya fought in this fight. Now, other guys, phone, I know what phone said. And at some point, I agree, but at some point, I disagree. Because let's be honest here. Um. Baokia, at some point, when he fought Zamori, he struggled. He had to cut his own arm to sever the nerves. So, you know? So I don't, I, I mean, yeah, oh, a crusty motherfucker. Yeah, true. That's true. But I still think this was a good chapter. And one of the reasons why were the pros. The fight itself and the way Baokia fought. Those are the two pros in this chapter, in my opinion. Big pros. And the con? That Rukia fight was stupid. I, did, I really did not like that fight at all. Now that I really think about it, it was really a piece of shit fight. And it was... It, it's just disgusting what Kubo did. Unbelievable. Totally disgusting. He needs, he needs to bring Rukia... You know, he needs to, to rethink his characters the way he's doing it. But that aside... I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. I gave you the pros. I gave you the cons. Uh, this was a good chapter. 4 out of 5. I, I, I'm, I'm really... I'm glad he did it this way. Because if he had... If he had not just fucked up the Rukia fight and this fight, then I would have been pissed. Then I'd be like, oh man. What a total letdown. But, this was a good chapter. This was a good chapter. Now, Kubo, the one thing he has to do now is he has to resolve the loose ends here with Rukia and all that. And, to some extent, he needs to move on with Ichigo, but really needs to, like, you know? Predictions? I'll do that later. But this was a good chapter. I really liked it. Tell me what you guys think. I know what people are going to say. I know what Phone is going to say. He's going to think I'm crazy. But... I mean, he complains about it, but, like, this was a good fight. Regardless what he have to say, it was a good fight. Come on. Oh, uh, crusty motherfucker. Uh, crusty motherfucker. All the time, but this was a good fight. Regardless what you have to say about Kubo, this fight was good. It was a good fight. I'm sorry. It was a good fight. Was it great? No, but it was good enough to say, oh, this is a good fight. This has been Bonkai 922. See you guys later.